Hey guys, today I wanted to make a short video taking you with me through my homeschool routine. I'm not going to include any extras in here, nothing about meals like I usually end up doing and making it a day in the life video. I'm trying to stick just to our schoolwork and uh, showing you how fast and simple and quick and easy it can be and uh, how much fun it can be. Uh, so come along and join us for our morning lessons today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alana and my channel is all about marriage, homemaking, healthy living, and homeschooling. So please subscribe. So it is Tuesday morning and I'm gonna show you guys a quick video of our basic routine every day for homeschooling. We've gotten up, we've eaten breakfast, we've cleaned up after breakfast. During breakfast we read James 4, talked about that for a while. The kids have been playing foosball and using their slingshots outside while I've been getting dressed and ready. They got dressed, brushed their teeth, and now our first uh, thing we did was the Pledge of Allegiance and then the Christian Flag Pledge, and we just listened to the Star Spangled Banner. We're seated, seated now, about to do our handwriting for the day. Once I have the handwriting on the board, I give them 10 minutes and then we move on to the next subject. But first, we do our Buenos Dias. Hoy es martes, el 29 de agosto, 2017. Good morning, today is Tuesday, and I make them repeat it in Spanish and ask them, so what's the month, what's the day, what's the year? And that way, you know, that gets in their mind, like how to identify the month, day, year. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do right now. Everybody's seated supposed to be and we're just going to talk about what's on the board here and right after that we're going to read our poem for the day which is the tiger by william blake okay so we actually sat at the piano and sang the first two verses of christ the sure and steady anchor now i'm going to read our poem they have started handwriting and i put the timer on for 10 minutes and we are done after 10 minutes so ivan is learning cursive He's practicing his E's and F's today. So this is all I do, you guys, an E and a couple F's. I did some dotted E's and F's on his paper so he could practice, and then he's gonna do a few on his own. And then for my little guy, all I write was today, today we pick up Azure, whoop-de-doo. Because I'm more concerned about their penmanship than the amount they're writing. <whistles> Woohoo! Good Hold job, on. big boy. So now we're doing a Matthew C lesson uh, segment. I don't do this every time, but today we are because we're starting a new lesson. So I'm going to sit and watch it. All right, we just finished our video and now we're doing one worksheet each. Here, Ivan. So again, I'm setting the timer 15 minutes for math. We can totally make that happen. So I am not a fan of busy work and my kids write numbers all the time. So instead of making them write, skip counting by fives the whole way down, I will just twice, I will just let them tell me orally. Skip, let's all skip count by fives. Okay, <laughs> five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, done. There we go, instead of making them write all that. So that's just the way I do things. You can make them write it if you want. 15, 20, 20, 20, I just think 30, it's kind of silly 40, to make them do that if they know it. And then here, here we go again. All these skip counting by oh, fives, yeah. if they already know it, why make them do that? Instead, we're skipping ahead to number four. Since they know how to skip count by fives, they know how to tell time with the clock, and they know how to count money from playing with lots of store Is and this? from playing Monopoly. And I love this because they can read, write, and do math all at once. It's glorious. So let's read this word problem. Nice job, you guys. 45. 45. File your math away. We're moving on. We did all that math in that much time. <laughs> Let me do math right now. So on Tuesdays, we do reading instead of phonics. So that's next. Ivan will read four or five pages from the Bears on Hemlock Mountain to me. And Joelle will read four pages from Owl at Home. And we like to do this on the sofa over there snuggled. Then right after, I'll read and have them repeat several Spanish things. I haven't seen this book yet, so we'll just play it by ear. All right, we're done with our reading and our Spanish. I really enjoyed the Spanish book. It was so good. It was all about um, 
different ways of di idioms in Spanish and English, different ones like raining cats and dogs. In English, it says it's raining like jugs or by jugs in Spanish. And we read it in Spanish and in English. And there were some good life lessons in there too because a lot of the things, the sayings um, applied to our lives with procrastination and slow to obey and stuff like that. So it was good. Um, so now it's break time. And I'm going to get lunch prepared because um, my husband should be home pretty soon. At lunch, after my husband leaves, the boys and I are doing geography. Where did my schedule go? Geography, literature, and art study. So what we'll do is pull up a painting, the next painting. We'll read some Marco Polo and we'll read two chapters from Princess and the Goblin and they will call it a day. So I really wanted to keep this video short, um, and I think I've succeeded in that. So it's 10.30, we took about an hour to do all of the work we've done so far. And like I said, all that's left is to look at our next painting for the, you know, the next one on the list, read two chapters for literature, read probably two or three chapters of this Marco Polo book for geography, check out the map as we read it, and then, um, possibly read a little Pagu, even though it's not on today's schedule. We fell behind because we didn't have this book until two days ago. So we've already read two chapters and they love it. So we might just read two more to catch up and get on schedule with that. And that will be our school day. So um, we'll do that during lunch. We'll probably be done before 1, 1 1.30 at the latest. And that's a typical school day for us. On occasion, we'll do extra little things, you know, like we'll do the store, or we'll we'll play with money, or we'll play with Monopoly, money practice. Um, we'll do cooking for math, stuff like that. But on a typical, typical day, this is the norm. I just wanted to show you how simple and easy it can be, and how kids love it, especially just the fast moving from subject to subject. Don't give them busy work to just keep them on a chair for no reason when they like already know it, you know? Um, being able to do things orally when you can is awesome or really interactively when you can. Sometimes we'll do math on the board. I'll let them go up and down. And um, sometimes they really are excited about worksheets. So when they're not too tedious, I'll let them do a worksheet. And then of course, just to have some work accumulated in their folders. So for those of you that have not seen my other homeschool videos, just so you know, um, today we just covered geography, art, study, and literature, but every day we cover several subjects besides our morning lessons. So morning lessons are pretty much the same every day with the exception that we uh, alternate reading and phonics. And so Monday we do our history, guitar lessons, and science. Today, Tuesday, we did geography, art, study, literature. Wednesdays we do composer study, history, and literature. Thursdays we do nature study and geography and science. And then Friday is our co-op day. And we do a lot of handicrafts at co-op, so I kind of leave that day for that, as well as field trips. And it's our catch-up day as, also, as well. So if we fall behind on any reading, we'll catch up on Fridays. So we cover all of our subjects that way. This year's the first time that I've needed two days a week for science, two days a week for geography, two days a week for history and literature because it's growing, you know, like we're reading more. And I learned from last year, instead of reading for two hours on our history day, if I just break it up, we can read for 30 minutes both days instead of two hours one day and 20 minutes another day. I would rather just break it up to where every day is kind of light, 30 to 40 minutes a day of reading at lunchtime. So um, that's pretty much our week. Um, I did share this on another video, so if you're inter more interested in uh, looking at my other homeschool videos where I go into more detail on how I scheduled and what materials I use and curriculum and all of that, please check out my other homeschool videos. I'm pretty sure I have a playlist, I do. So check it out, I'll add this video to that playlist as well. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to discuss whatever about homeschooling. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and are inspired to see how simple and easy homeschool can be. Have a great day.